out. I'm going to begin, though, because I know a lot of you are here for the first time. Uh, and I, for the last two or three Elite Academies, I've presented an extremely brief review for newcomers, uh, answering the question, what is ProTandem and what does it do? And it's still a question, and it's a very good question. I, I don't uh, belittle anyone who asks the question, what is ProTandem? Uh, and what does it do? And ProTandem biochemically is a NERF2 activator. Well, that probably didn't tell you a lot more than you knew before I said that. But what a NERF2 activator is, it's something that delivers a biochemical wake-up call to every cell in your body. That's what ProTandem does that's important, and I want you to understand how it does that. So here is how ProTandem works really in one single slide. This big blue oval represents any one of the several trillion cells in your body. And in the upper right, you see that little purple item labeled protandum. That's one of the five active ingredients in protandum. And so every cell in your body, if you take a protandum, will be bathed in those molecules that make up protandum. The first thing protandum does when it approaches a cell is it binds to a receptor on the cell. Now, what is that? Well, if this cell is your house, what ProTandem just did is it stepped on the front porch and it rang your doorbell. Right? That's how the cell interprets that. When that happens at your home, things happen inside. You may get up off the couch and walk to the door to open the door and see who's there. When ProTandem rings the doorbell, of the cell, something happens inside that oval labeled a kinase. A kinase is an enzyme, it's a protein that catalyzes a particular metabolic reaction. It's activated, just as the chimes inside your house are activated when protandum or someone steps on your front porch and rings the doorbell. Something happens inside. This is the way those 400 genes are expressed when uh, oxidative stress is low. So we could call this a properly tuned genome. Because you can't see the individual genes when there are that many, I've taken a little area in the center part of this randomly in that red box, which is about 63 genes. And we're going to look at that a little more closely. They're now spread out. You can see them individually. The name of each gene is on the bottom of the axis, and this is how they're expressed when oxidative stress is low, uh, specifically when protandum is in the medium. If we grow, and this is in a human cell line. If we grow these same cells without protandum under conditions that have oxidative stress, what do you think it looks like? It looks like that, okay? So that's equivalent to grandma's piano after 50 years in the attic. And the difference between that and this is protandum. All right. It's a dramatic <laughs> illustration. Right. And each of those 400 genes can be analyzed in this way. And the overall predominant theme is exactly what you've seen here. The genes that help our cells survive are upregulated. The genes that are doing the damage are being decreased. 